It's part two, October 1st, 2009. 1111 for big dragon dicks for you. Hopefully everything's okay on the Canada Twisted View. And make sure you have clean water and access to all your emergency supplies and connect with your loved ones right now because it's going to be a bit of a rocky ride. But in the end, we will see Eden. Uh, do not be raptured by anything that uh, is looks like a UFO or whatever. They're planning on taking you off with holographics and beaming you up, Scotty, uh, to um, either the moon or the, uh, Mars, which is they have bases on, on those areas. They just haven't told you so. So if you think the Vatican is going to come up with solutions because Benjamin Bulford, I mean, sorry, Fulford was uh, in contact with the Vatican. <laughs> Meanwhile, I don't see any black priests with any cloaks coming to see me going, I think we need a solution, Dana. No, no, I just get witchcraft thrown at me. But uh, anyway, he was stating on rents, which always blames the Jews and never mentions the Roman Catholic Church. That's probably why he's still employed. But he was mentioning that the Vatican is going to do away with the Roman Catholicism because, what do you know, there's been a lot of sexual ritual abuse going on there. Like you didn't know. Please. And he calls himself a Jew, but he's an atheist. So which one are you? Because you can't be both. If you're an atheist, you must be a Roman. You must be into Romanism and uh, Satanism, Luciferianism. And... Um, he thinks that the Federal Reserve is going to be uh, saved by the, the dragons, the British Empire and the Vatican.